So tomorrow is a big day for us here on our farm because we're finally getting our livestock guardian puppy. I am wicked excited. And while we're pretty close to being ready for the puppy to arrive, there's still a few things we gotta take care of first. <laughs> Off the We've got some bougie chickens. I think they like the pumpkin pie. I don't think anybody else liked the pumpkin pie. It was gluten free and dairy free. <laughs> it's tough to make it good. Sorry, don't mean to offend you. I know you tried really hard. It's nice and warm in here. You know, right? So this is where it's gonna like be the setup for the puppy. Oh. Morgan. Morgan, I got an idea. Let's turn upside down and do it upside down. Like, flip it on and then roll it over. You know. This is the humble abode for our puppy. Here he will sleep. Food and water. And this is his run. Here you go, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm just leaving the house right now. I'm actually running a couple minutes late. The water line froze again this morning because it's so chilly. So I had to take a few extra minutes to defrost it. I guess I gotta get used to budgeting that time on a regular basis again. I'm going to meet my buddy David in New Hampshire, and then we're going to drive from New Hampshire to the breeder in Maine. Um, it's basically the same road trip that Allison and I made a couple of weeks ago. So my buddy David, dude, he's actually a uh, sheep farmer. Uh, his farm's about, about 40 minutes or so from, from us here. And uh, he actually already has Maramas. He has uh, two of them. One of his dogs is actually the father of the litter that we're getting the puppies from. Really good dog, big good guardian dog by the name of Ford. But David himself, he's a pretty interesting dude. He's actually a transplant like me to Vermont. He comes from San Francisco and he left uh, work in the city to start a farm as well. Which kind of goes to show you uh, that there's a lot of us around there and uh, it's a growing population, I guess. So I guess this is where I should pick up my story because as I've mentioned in previous videos, the breeder of our dog has asked that we don't show their farm in our videos, which is totally cool and a decision I personally really respect. They just don't want to live their lives on camera. I mean, not everybody is like an egotistical windbag when it comes to this sort of social media thing. But I guess the way the story goes is that my friend David and I, we ended up driving 
you know, from New Hampshire to Maine to where the breeder is. We got there. We had a great conversation with them. They actually gave us all the paperwork we needed for the dogs. Dog has papers. Over the line! They even created a little guidebook for me on how to train a Maremma and, and some of the practices from discipline to commands to, you know, just having them work with animals. They have this like great little guidebook that they've been working on writing and they gave it to me. And as we were leaving their farm, they actually um, had this little ceremony with the mother where um, the puppy that David was getting, as well as the puppy that I was getting, were walked out and the mother got to kind of sniff them and say goodbye and then they were loaded into David's truck and off we went. The ride back was pretty uneventful and chill. I have such a good time talking with my buddy David because you know, he's a farmer too. He's dealing with a lot of the same issues I'm dealing with. We both like to talk business and the time passed pretty great. I will say I felt a little bit like Miss Daisy sitting in the back seat of David's truck. We decided that was the best configuration where he drove and I rode with the dogs and kind of kept them calm in the back seat with me. The puppies were pretty chill overall. Um, no major freakouts. They mostly just slept or sat still while I petted them. There was one incident where David's puppy puked on the floor of his truck, but luckily his pickup has those uh, plastic matte coatings, so it's like really no big deal. And we ultimately got to the parking lot uh, where we'd met up and we parted ways and I popped our puppy into the truck with me. I actually kept him in a crate because I wasn't gonna be able to be there supervising him the entire time and wanted to make sure we were safe while we were driving. We made it back to the farm and Yep, this is the new house. What do you think, buddy? Huh? As soon as I got him out of the truck and out of his crate, you know, he was greeted by the welcoming committee of the barn cats. How are you doing, little barn cat? You wanna meet Toby? You want nothing to do with him, huh? Who could potentially have been maybe just a little bit friendlier. You ain't from around here, are you? But, but overall, it was cool. I walked him around the farm a little bit, let him sniff his way around, let him get used to the surroundings, and I ultimately took him out to the paddock. And, and actually, that's, that's where he is right now. Uh, do you guys want to go meet him with me? Here he is. Aww. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna be such a good dog on this farm here, buddy. You're gonna be such a good dog here. You know, I had a lot of trepidation about the idea of getting a dog, but now that he's here, and now that our farm has a farm dog, I don't think I could be any happier. <laughs> Isn't that right, my friend? I got a lot of work to do with him, training-wise, and making sure he knows what to do, and keeping him safe, and teaching him the ropes. And I bet you guys are dying to know his name. Should I tell him? Should I tell him, buddy? Should I tell him? Say it! Say it! All right, all right. Our puppy's name is gonna be Sir Bartleby de Mimsy Porpington, the Earl of Caledonia County. Isn't that right, buddy? Isn't that right? Ah, such a regal name. But we're actually gonna call him Toby for short. The reason I set up this Adirondack chair is because I actually plan on spending a lot of time hanging out with this guy in here this winter. The ducks aren't still aren't used to him, though. No. But uh, hopefully that'll happen with good time. Isn't that right? You're gonna get so used to those duck dudes, huh? Huh? I'm gonna lock him up because I gotta go do my final duck chores and close up for the night. I don't wanna try to have him do the chores with me at least tonight. He's had a lot of stimulation and I don't wanna overdo it. It's so icy, I should've worn my crampon. You're the lone duck crawling up the steps, huh? Good night, ducks! Hey, buddy! Oh, you're 
you're already hanging out in your house? It looks pretty darn good.